Strugglers a couple weeks ago marked the biggest day in internet history since that green and yellow dress took the world by storm. On Sunday, October 2nd, the Earth stood still as world-famous Minecraft creator Dream finally revealed what his face looked like. I feel like I gotta clarify, Dream's not the creator of Minecraft. He's a creator. He, he plays Minecraft on stream and stuff. And he's just a normal guy, obviously. I don't know what y'all expected, but this is just a guy. Except I will admit it was a little shocking for me because I saw this image and I immediately thought, oh no. And I knew that I was gonna get a ton of messages from people saying, oh my gosh, did you know that you look like Dream? But that's nothing new. I get messages all the time from people saying, you look like, Insert white guy with brown hair. And I can't blame you guys. I too feel an incessant need to tell strangers that they look like other strangers. It's my favorite pastime. But I thought it would be kind of fun today to let you all get it out of your system. And I asked people on Twitter and Instagram to send me my lookalikes. I don't know that this will necessarily be fun for me, but it'll be cathartic. You asked for it, Scott. <laughs> you asked for it. Cal Raleigh, he plays for the Mariners. I have seen this one before. I agree. <laughs> also, his nickname is literally Big Dumper. <laughs> you should know that. I thank you for telling me. That makes it so much better. The <laughs> Big Dumper, let's go. If Flick from A Bug's Life was a human, he'd look like you. Talk about Big Dumper, <laughs> am I right? Look at that guy. I'll, I'll take it, man. Flick is kind of thick, isn't he? He's athletic thick though. Like he could do Pilates without breaking a sweat and he could also squat 600 pounds. I love to see it. This is what the peak male body looks like. All right, like it or not, this is it. Taking the assignment in your story, this is literally Eddie Burback. So I don't think I can accept this one. I, I, I don't think I look like this guy. Also, he's got really rich, beautiful brown eyes and thick eyebrows. And I've got these like, these blue eyes. Not that the color of your eyes is the only thing that makes you look like somebody, but I think that he's got these big defined brown eyes that, you know, they really make, they really make this character. <laughs> you look like if your mom and your dad had a baby. Shockingly accurate, very astute, or like the Aldi version of Antoni from Queer Eye. Why the Aldi version? What, what the hell? That feels like a little bit of a slide towards me. You can't control what people say, you can only control how you react to it, and I will take this as a compliment. Another thing that I get so often, and I'm sure I'll get it at some point in this video, people always tell me, you look like the Walmart version of Mr. Beast. That's not a compliment, guys. If you're talking about my bank account, that is very true, but. Okay, hear me out. Pool boy looks exactly like Mr. Boy from Sky High. Wow, I didn't even realize that. That is that is shocking. That never even crossed my mind when I made this costume. Well, I mean, it's not like he's the most famous superhero of all time. Yeah, we got the same eye mask going on. We got the same color scheme. I'll take it. There's a picture of Miles Teller up here. I don't know if I look like Miles Teller, but he has been getting a ton of hype ever since Top Gun came out, so. Also, Josh Allen, I get this one a lot too. I don't know that I've ever really seen the resemblance between me and Josh Allen, but the man is an absolute beast. I'll take comparisons to an absolute beast. Beast boy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not entirely sure why, but I, you know what, I see it. When I first saw your channel, I thought you were my old math teacher. All right, I do actually, I I get it. <laughs> yeah, people always tell me I give off camp counselor vibes. So I guess old math teacher, pretty similar. I really do think that any white guy with brown hair and a beard is automatically gonna be a C no matter what, but I'll give that like a B minus lookalike. What do you mean by this? Why, why did, <laughs> I kind of see it though. <laughs> Ready here, here comes a. There's Cal Raleigh again. See, look at this. You're telling me that doesn't, look at this. I went like this. Cal Raleigh. There he is again. There's also a lot of baseball fans in this community. I'm into it. I didn't realize you guys were such athletes. I appreciate it. I didn't, I didn't know. I like having the athletes in the, in the chat. Pittsburgh Pirates, Dave Bedner. What now? <laughs> I get the Cal Raleigh thing. I don't know about David Bedner. Okay, hear me out. Lawrence Fletcher from Phineas and Ferb. Why? Why are you doing this to me? What did I do to deserve that? I just would love to know. I actually have an uncle. 
that looks exactly like this. So maybe, it, you know, it's a family resemblance. You look like the courier in Skyrim if he actually took a bath and grew a beard. This reminds me of somebody left a comment on a really old video of mine and said, you look like if Post Malone went to Harvard. PG Bam Margera. <laughs> you know what? That's not, that one's not too bad. I'll tell, I'll give this one a, this one's a B plus. I like that one. That's a good one. There's the Mr. Beast one. Yeah. Okay. And I see it. I totally see it. I think the Mr. Beast comparisons are fair. We do look alike. There's times when I'll see one of his thumbnails show up and I'm like, Hold on, what's this now? Because it kind of looks like me for a split second, but of course he's doing the big face and the plastic skin and all that stuff. But I totally get the Mr. Beast comparisons. Just maybe stop calling me the Walmart version, you know? Low key, not to be mean, but I see it. Low key, I kind of see it as well. This is the closest in terms of cartoon characters so far, I'll give you this one. Flounder, Danny Phantom, and Timmy Turner. I, get, I So Timmy Turner is one that I've also gotten, but I just think that's, again, brown hair. Timmy Turner? Okay, now, well now, now what are we doing? What are we, how dare you? Is it the energy? If it's the energy, I'll take it. I don't, but I do not look like Mike Wazowski. Okay, you're telling me these look like the same guy. You're blocked. I'm blocking you. Okay. Mike TV, I swear I get this once a month. What, why? I made a reference to it in the April Fool's video this year. Stop sending me pictures of Mike TV and saying it looks like me, all right? I'm sick of it. I've been a victim enough here. Do I have little rascal energy? Is that, is that it? Is this payback? Scott Kramer sent this? This is harsh, Scott. I bought your merch? This is what you repay me with? You know, as much as I believe that this was just a bit of a goof, I kind of do look like Bob the Tomato. <laughs> if I was going to compare myself to any of the VeggieTales characters, Bob would be up there. I do also like that asparagus guy. What's his name? This little fella. Junior asparagus is who I would say I'm probably the most similar to in appearance. And what does that even mean? I, I don't look like this. This is an asparagus. Tammy Turner again, and Danny Phantom. Actually though, seeing the picture in front of my eyes, I get the Timmy Turner thing, especially cause my hair does go like off and over off of my head, you know? All right, Timmy Turner isn't as far off as I thought it was earlier. Oh my gosh. Wow. Zelensky's a little bit cold looking though. He does kind of look like the mean version of me, right? That's pretty close though. That is pretty close. I'll give that one, dang. Do I give that one an A? I'll give it an A minus. That might be the closest one yet though. Scott looks like his not as cool little brother. Shia LaBeouf? <laughs> the description of that is extremely accurate though. Looking at specifically this photo, I do look like Shia's less cool little brother. And I know that's not a compliment. <laughs> you look like Kit Harrington if he didn't look sad all the time. You also look like Matt Ross's long lost son. That's good too. I see it. Let me give him one of these. And then let me give him one of these. These two look like the same guy, just at different stages of life. There he is again. What is this David Bednar stuff? Yeah, I keep calling him Bednar. It's Bednar, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know how to pronounce names. This looks like me in an alternate reality where I was a gym teacher or something. Did you guys like meet in secret? Were you having conversations behind my back? There's no way that two different people came to this same conclusion. It's just simply not possible. You gotta be kidding me. What is going on? Am I not seeing something? Here's the thing, I know there's like 50 comments already that are like, you do look like David Bednar. Wow, what do you, how are you not seeing that? I don't know. I'm not seeing it. This is like the beefed up man version of Timmy Turner. Well, what's going on here? I wish. I mean, I really wish. Especially this picture that you used as a comparison. What in the, what are you seeing? Okay, here's one. This is Timmy. Is this Timmy? Who, who is this? This doesn't look like Timmy. He looks like a bully. He looks like he'd take your lunch money or something. I think what would be interesting to do is take some of the more common comparisons and see if I can embody them in a way. Seems like a lot of people think I look like Timmy Turner, uh, definitely Cal Raleigh, that baseball player. And then I know not many people said it in this video, but I get Mike TV all the time. Maybe do a little cosplay. Cosplay, C can we just, I'm dressing up. I'm playing dress up. Can we just call it that? Let's see how close I can get to looking like these guys. I'm back from the store, the stores, I went to multiple stores, and I got what I think I need to be able to pull off these three 
men. Uh, it was a bit of a journey. Here's the reference photos that I'm using uh, for these guys. So for example, for Cal, I knew that I needed a baseball jersey of some kind, so I went to the mall, and the store that used to sell baseball jerseys there is closed. Fargo just wasn't buying enough baseball jerseys. They literally closed. So I thought, okay, there's a sporting goods store in town, Shields, I'll check that out. Maybe they got something. I was rifling through all of the stuff and uh, I didn't find a Cal Raleigh jersey, unfortunately. But I did find this Houston Astros jersey of this guy named Altuve. I've never heard of Altuve. I don't watch baseball even, but this is like the same jersey as the one that Cal is wearing, other than the colors and the logo here. But it's cut off at the top anyway, so all I need to do really is just kind of tweak this in Photoshop and make the orange black. Orange is the new black, so. And then I picked up just a plain black baseball cap. I figured I could draw the logo on a piece of paper and just stick that on there because we don't have a printer. And of course, lastly, at Walmart, I got myself a baseball bat. Uh, they don't sell real wooden baseball bats. So I just got this blue blitz ball bat and I figure I could Photoshop this as well. So taking a lot of creative liberties here. I got my jersey on. I figured this black wall would be a good backdrop because the photo is literally him standing in front of a black wall. I feel really good holding this. Now the last predicament that I'm in still is that I don't have a logo for the hat, so I gotta I have to draw one. That's what I came up with. I'm such a toddler. Now let's see how way too big I made this. Oh, for crying out loud, bro. <laughs> It's not great, but it's good enough. He's kind of doing like a little scowl or something. So, no, nah, not really. He's kind of giving him a smirk. So we'll give him a smirk. Took a lot of photos. I think that'll do it. At Michael's, I also grabbed this just red long sleeve shirt to go underneath a black graphic tee. I don't own a black graphic tee, so we went to Walmart. And the one in the picture is, this is what it looks like, okay? Well, they didn't have anything that looks like that. The closest things I could find were like this weird jack-o'-lantern thing and this freaking clown. And just based off the colors alone, I went with the clown. I wanna get it out of my house as soon as possible. I think it's cursed. So if anybody happens to be rifling through my garbage later, you can have this. The one other thing that I think was really gonna help, not in the reference image, but in the movie, uh, Mike wears these stupid glasses. Those are like hot right now for some reason. Who, why were, people are actually wearing these. Can you believe that? Are people not embarrassed of anything? Didn't take me long to find very close to what I was looking for. And um, as much as I hate to say it, these are kind of swag. I might actually start wearing these unironically. We'll see how it goes. So yeah, let's uh, let's take some photos. Let's see if we can match these things up. In theory, Mike TV should be the easiest one. It's really just a couple of shirts. Close enough, huh? Not bad. Kid's got sass. I gotta bring it. That might've been the one. For Timmy Turner, this one's fun. I went to Michael's, a craft store, and they have these, uh, you know, blank Gildan t-shirts. I found just the right shade of pink. I feel like this one will be just fine. But they didn't have any pink hats. I originally bought this turquoise colored hat and I was just gonna tweak that in Photoshop. This is what I was working with originally. Uh, so I was just kinda gonna go bang and then wear that. But that seemed like I was starting to cheat too much. Instead what I did is I bought a white hat and then I bought some pink hair spray for like Halloween and I sprayed the hat out in my lawn to be the correct pink color. And I think it actually turned out pretty good. So that's drying currently. And then Timmy has these weird like pants that just fuse into his shoes. And I, I don't know, wh where am I meant to find that? So I'm just gonna wear like regular blue dress pants and then I'll wear these navy shoes with them. I literally just got changed and then realized I didn't take any pictures in these. Guys, I'm not doing very well. He's got this right arm up, point like this. About a hundred million pictures there. All right, well, that's a wrap on that. The lookalikes, the whole doppelganger thing, it's a lot more fun if you just kind of 
try to picture it in your head. When you see it in real life, you see it side by side, it really takes the illusion away. It takes the fun out of it. Because like, yeah, I think I look like that Cal Raleigh guy, but now that I see me right next to him, I'm not so sure. I look like me, and you look like you. Be yourself, guys. <laughs> what a beautiful lesson that we came away with. Okay, thanks for watching. The next video that I post is going to be a big project, so I'm really looking forward to getting that out there. I hope you guys like it. It's a Halloween-themed one, so it's gonna be a little spooky. And an extra thank you to my patrons. Those that are listed here are in the top tier on there. You guys are wonderful. But yeah, that's all I got for you this time. Thanks so much for watching and liking and subscribing and all that good stuff as well. I will talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.